super excited reefers. We are at Worldwide Coral. I dare to say it's one of the most famous local fish store in the US. Right. Let's go check it out. Right. in a candy store right now. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Hey, what's up, reefers? Super happy to be at Worldwide Coral today. There's so much to see and so much to do. It's really hard to cover everything in one single visit. So I figure maybe we'll just do topical. We'll cover maybe like one or two things. Uh, number one, I want to see how they prepare the corals for sale. Like where did they come from? And number two, uh, when I think about Worldwide Coral, I know they cover a lot of like SPS, LPS, softies. What jumps out the most at me? And for me, since I'm more like a softies and LPS guy, when I think WWC, I think Ballast Mushroom, different redactors. They have a lot of like designer redactors. So for that, we'll find our expert, Frank. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So there's a secret area that I'm gonna do. Oh geez. Basically, was our farm, now it's our shipping area. Dude, two years from a frag. Everything from a frag. So the entire thing two years. <laughs> yeah. And look how much growth. It is insane, man. Do you guys, do you guys, uh, calcium uh, reactors or reactor, call flosser? Let me see. Let me see if I can take the other one. Moments later. Where are we going? Okay. I have no yeah. idea. Kidnap. <laughs> I'm not sure what's Kidnap going on. Me. I, got, I got some people here. <laughs> Boy, that's fine. It works. Good. Check out this. Yeah, it works. Yeah. We're here at World Like Coral, so we're gonna, you know, bring them along and check out the facility. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it. All right, we got Frank here from World Like Coral. He's showing me to the secret place, basically this like coral Whee. farm. How's it going, everybody? This is our aquaculture facility. This is where we grow everything. This is where we frag everything. This is where we get all of our shipments in. Um, and it comes here first before it gets cut or grown out and then it moves on to the um, to the store and the other farm that we have at the store. How long did the coral stay here before you move them to the store? Typically, depends on the coral between two to three months. Some some just stay here just because we want to grow them out and kind of let them settle down here till we want to do something with them. But uh, we have a big collection and the owner likes to hold on to stuff. So a lot of the nice stuff stays here too as well. I know a lot of people kind of wondering what kind of light they do. You know, I'll be honest, as you can see here, we run all LEDs on our tanks. Uh, there's a lot of people in the industry that are, you know, still kind of iffy about it, but overall, this is what we use and it does really well. Now, obviously, light is just part of the equation. Of it is. Coloration. Yeah. There's also like uh, wind currents and like the dose and stuff like that. Of course, dosing. Um, we have a calcium reactor on these systems. Not everybody has calcium reactors, so you can always just dose, you know, calcium and alkalinity in your system as well, and that'll do just as fine. Um, but every every tank is different, so. I gotcha. I see you, you guys use uh, the Vortec MP40, right? All so, Ecotech products here. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to walk us through it pretty quickly? And sure. Check it out? This is uh, the SPS system here. These are all the acros, the monoporas, things like that. Uh, a lot of the big grow out uh, colonies that we get in. The frag stations back here. Uh, this is where a lot of the guys work. And then we have these two sections here, which. 
kind of are my favorite. We have a lot of chalices in here. We have a lot of nice LPS that I just, you know, I'm really a fan of. So. I'm a big fan of LPS as well, as well as like Zoas so and stuff. You can give them a little show of what we have in this section. There's a lot of nice zoanthids as well, um, but the LPS is kind of what really, really stands out here. Oh, yeah, that nice space and bait here. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, there's crazy stuff everywhere. You have a, you have a tank at home? Of course. Do you want to take a fish tank after you go home now, man? I don't take care of fish tanks here. I just sell it. There's 28 people that work here, yeah. and everybody has their thing, like what they need to do. Um, I take care of clients. Um, I do customer service. Uh, wow, look at that. Big, huge tank right there. That's actually what I want at home. In there, and he's the first one to grab it. So, Frank, uh, I love this tank. I love cube tanks. I want something larger, but this is ridiculous. So what, what size is this? Uh, I believe it's 30 by 30 by, what's that, almost four and a half, five feet? So it's not perfect. Like it's no, so yeah, it's tall. really, really tall. That's what makes it. Yeah. How do you get to the bottom and try to have the price? Um, you go diving for it, pretty much. Put a, you put a mask snorkel on mask and you get to the bottom, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the only way to do it, really. Yeah. And the light fan should have Oh, since it's an enemy tank, we're actually not trying to overpower it with light. Um, we're trying to keep it where the enemies like the, you know, just the light, the amount of light that we're giving, and not giving it too much. Um, so the depth is is nice, and the amount of light that we have on it is, is pretty much uh, proper to what we need. Uh, we feed a lot here. Every one of our tanks, we feed about five to eight times a day. Wow. Yeah. We make our own food here, actually. So all the stuff that we feed, we feed with our proprietary ingredients. I gotcha. Uh, it's a concoction of all different types of seafood. Now, yeah. have you used any of the, uh, the product on the public, like reef toys, uh, reef chili, and stuff like that? We, we do reef oils, actually. We do quite a bit of that. Yeah. So actually, that's one of the main components of our little conglomerate of foods that we use. And that's uh, definitely one of the main ones, actually. So I know I know they have uh, different products like Halloween boosters. The boosters and stuff that you can use to uh, soak the food and stuff. Okay. And that's always good because it actually has, I believe, some aminos in it as well. I got you. Yeah. As you can see, he's already he's feeding. So. About five to eight times a day. And he does it a lot. So. Every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. Wow. Some of my favorite tanks because this is where the real grow out comes from. Um, these systems are very clean. Uh, pretty much sterile. There's no bugs. There's no. This is where the corals uh, end up at the end. Where it's just the coral itself. Uh, there's no hitchhikers, no pests. Like I said, they're very, very clean once they get here. These two tanks. So yeah. I guess it's a progression these, from these them. four. So some progression goes from there into here, depending on how much we like the coral. Mm. If it's something that we really want to keep and grow, yeah. they go into these four tanks. You guys have like live rocks along the edge. You want more surface area for bacteria to grow. Okay. Essentially, that live rock is a lot of surface area for that, but also it helps buffer the tank a little bit too. I see. Because it is made out of calcium and things like that. And, um, it will eventually, you know, just kind of help help with the system as well over, overall. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you guys believe in like the marine rocks or anything like that? It's good. You just want to make sure that eventually over time you may or may want to take it out depending on how old your tank is because the block itself eventually what will happen is you'll get, it'll get full of detritus, silt, and over time it just builds up where it becomes a block of, of just organics and sometimes you may want to take it out depending on your system. If you have a lot of salties, mushrooms, stuff that likes organics, water, right? cloudy, dirty water, then, dude, leave it there. Right. But 
at some point you may want to remove it, you may want to change it out, you know, if you want a cleaner system or if you do, are doing SPS. You know, you want that balance, but you don't want to throw it off. You yeah. Know? Um, that makes perfect sense. So it just, it really, it's the hard part about that. It just depends on your system and how long it's been running. Is that Space Monster? Or? Yes, it is Space Monster uh, Zoanthids. Let's check out those two. Paradise. <laughs> it's crazy here. It's a chocolate factory. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. Jeez, that bounce marker right here. Yeah. Not seen one with so many. Bu yeah, a lot of bubbles. Oh my goodness. Three hours later. This is our famous 293, the home of Casper, of course, and also resides our one of our famous OG bounce mushrooms. Uh, it's probably been in captivity for, I'd say, give or take 10 years. Um, we also have our famous biohazard as well. We have the Sun Kiss bounce mushroom, and uh, what we like is. Um, our magic carpet as well. Some of the nice mushrooms that we have in here. Uh, also, it's a mixed reef, so we have tons of different types of SPS. We have LPS as well. One of the uh, many favorites, of course, in the reef hobby is the Space Invader Pectinia. Oh, I love that guy. Um, that particular one is home to our clownfish that we love so much, it's a Picasso clown. And he's been in here for quite a while as well. Um, he loves the Pectinia. And it's honestly the pectinia has grown to out of proportion. It's just a really, really big piece now. Awesome. We have many other corals that are you know pretty famous to us, which are like graphic caps, um, which you see here. And there's just tons of other corals in here that I could mention for days, of course. But um, those one in particular that we are very known, well known for. Yeah, and I, I asked Frank so much question that he's losing his voice today. So yeah, I've been talking so a lot much. today. Yeah. Once again, the store is now closed. Have now please. Exit the front door. Uh, oh, we we so close out the store. Let's go, we squad. We're going home. We're going to kick out. We're going to Disney. <laughs> all right. Have fun, cool. guys. Yo, hey, thank you again. Thank you again. I appreciate all your help. You as well. It's a huge 900 gallon. And then right there, we got Bobby Hart at work. Woo! Now right here, we got some holding tank and some frag tank, 